This is Embracing Digital This Week with Darren Pulsifer. This week's top stories. In cybersecurity news, the FBI has warned the public against using public phone charging stations due to the risk of cybersecurity attacks. These charging stations commonly found in public places such as airports, malls, and hotels could potentially contain malware that compromises security of the user's personal information and devices. Bring your own USB adapter when you travel now. Google has released an urgent update for its Chrome web browser to address critical vulnerability hackers exploit. The vulnerability identified as use after free could allow malicious actors to execute arbitrary code and potentially gain control over affected systems. Google has urged users to update their Chrome browsers to the latest version as soon as possible to mitigate the risk of being targeted by cyber attacks. Android and Novi survey apps have been found to have severe security vulnerabilities that could potentially expose users' personal information. The flaws could allow attackers to bypass security measures and gain unauthorized access to sensitive data. Users are urged to be cautious and update their apps to the latest versions to protect against potential cyber threats. In data management news, according to OneTrust Chief Strategy Officer, data privacy and ethics gaps pose an existential threat to organizations. Failure to adequately address these gaps can result in reputational damage, legal and financial liabilities, and loss of customer trust. Organizations must prioritize data privacy and ethics to mitigate risks and protect their businesses in the face of evolving regulatory requirements and increasing public scrutiny. After an in-depth review of recent reports from the Government Accountability Office of the United States, Andrew Koo, a principal at Capgemini, has identified three key actions data organizations in public sector must focus on. First, fostering a data-driven culture. Second, establishing a data governance framework and leveraging modern technologies such as cloud computing and artificial intelligence to harness the value of data. A recent webinar from DPTA had panelists discuss the importance of keeping up with the evolving needs of databases and applications in the cloud. As cloud computing advances, organizations must adapt their strategies, their database, their application um, to optimize performance, security, and scalability. Emphasizing cloud-native technologies, automation, and best practices can help businesses stay ahead of today's dynamic cloud environment. In IoT news, Edge Computing Expo North America, scheduled for 17th and 18th of May 2023, has recently announced a star-studded lineup of technologists and business leaders in the IoT space. The conference will be held at the Santa Clara Convention Center in California. You've got to put this one on your calendar. IT and OT cybersecurity convergence is becoming real as more cybersecurity solutions from the IT space are focusing on IoT and industrial infrastructure protection. A recent example is CrowdStrike's introduction of CloudStrike Falcon Insight for IoT. This platform brings the same tooling across IoT, IT endpoints, and cloud and data center workloads. In a great example of taking on Industry 4.0 deployments, Volvo Group has taken on to deploying a preventive maintenance infrastructure for its factory in Lyon, France. The Volvo Group is utilizing a long-range wide area network to enable real-time monitoring and analysis of data from factory equipment, allowing for proactive preventive maintenance. That's it for Embracing Digital this week. If you've enjoyed this episode, Check out our full-length weekly podcast, Embracing Digital Transformation, and check out our website, embracingdigital.org. Until next week, go out and do something wonderful.